Fritz and I got um, Mr. Donut, a very famous uh, Japanese donut chain. They have like these mochi donuts uh, for breakfast because the place that we wanted to go to was closed and we couldn't find the, the bus station a little bit, but it worked out and now we're gonna have a mochi donut. How is it? <laughs> very filling? That's yes, good. Good. I respect it. Simon always takes the stairs. We just got to Owazu Onsen, which is Simon's home territory. Yeah. This is where he spent two months, right? Yeah. yeah. Now he's giving me the tour. It's awesome. This is what rice fields look like. We just stopped by Secret Jinja. It's really nice because normally all the Jinjas are packed with people, but this one we had all to, all to ourselves. And that's his house over there. The one with the black roof and darker walls. I have been able to summon Fritz to Awazu Onsen, which I'm very happy about. Now we're looking, looking at it from the lookout spot. And then over there is Komatsu Dome. And the ocean is over there. Yeah. Very cool. The secret Jinja is like over there. And the Ashiyu, which we'll go to next, is like through that tree, I think. Here's Fritz, and we're at the Ashiyu. Um, and Fritz will now try the Ashiyu. I just step in it. So you sit sit down and then put your feet down. Yep. How far in? All the way. Oh! <laughs> oh it's really hot. Can I take them out? Well, you could, but if you leave them oh. in, if you leave them in, then they'll it'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's hot. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my god. How long do you leave them in? Uh, as long as you want. I normally leave it in like, um, uh, like five minutes or so. Alright, I'm gonna get in now too. This will do it justice. We made it to the waterfall. And it's cool, we're gonna go swimming. We just swam. Um, it was fun. The waterfalls, there's lots of them and they're very cool. And Fritz had the idea and we built the dam over there and we, we raised the water level of that little section by maybe an inch or two. That was a fun time in uh, Awazu Onsen and um, eating some of the dried papaya. We got some food and the peach cream cheese ice cream from the Lawson in Awazu Onsen. Yeah, very good, I can recommend. Um, and I got my, my Nemo too, my luggage back from my host family. And here's all the stuff. And this is uh, all the stuff I brought to Japan. Um, this is very heavy, too heavy. Um, but now we're gonna go back to or we're gonna go to Kanazawa um, so we have a little bit to wait for that train but out here the people are um, living as the people do Simon and I were at Kanazawa station yep we made it back to where it all began <laughs> yep all right we're in the Sharon Kanazawa Travelers Inn and this is super cool um, well here's my bed and we got my big suitcase but we met um, a really cool guy Chris um, who's like a ski instructor at Big Sky but he's like traveled like crazy There's so many crazy India stories um, and it's really interesting to hear about like someone else's like super awesome life like traveling and like learning languages and like experiencing cultures and stuff it's like really cool so we are in Kanazawa right now um, we are staying at the Sharon uh, Hostel. It's been great so far and it's the night before our last full day and we're gonna hike uh, Hakusan Mountain um, 
and the kicker is we have to get on a bus at 5 a.m. because it's a 10 hour hike and the last bus comes at like 5 30 and it's a two hour ride there so long story short we have to be on the first bus and we're going to try to make the last bus back and so to get to that first bus which departs at 5 a.m we're going to ride bikes so it's making sure they work they do work or at least one of them works um i'm pretty confident the other one will work i'm gonna figure out how to lock it but yeah that's the plan early wake up tomorrow we're gonna go get them Making good time. This sort of shows you what we see. Not a whole lot, but we're moving. All right, we made it to Mato Station. We got 15 minutes. The bus just arrived. We have the people. Excited to get on it. Good, good job. Mile zero, trailhead. Pretty sweet little lodge. Um, it is seven o'clock. Start hiking. We're on a pretty awesome suspension bridge. You can feel it sort of give as we walk. Really pretty high up. We're about a hundred yards into the hike. <laughs> Maybe less, maybe like a hundred feet. Apparently people wear bells so that they don't startle the bears. Did not know there were bears. So hopefully we don't startle any. We're exactly one mile in. Mile number two, still feeling good. Still on the ascent. This is what the trail looks like. Mile three, still feeling good. Just a little bit of the view. Super pretty, nice temperature. Definitely want to go there, that pond. And we must continue our our ascent of Hakusa. This is a cool little visitor center, um, and we go, we're above the clouds over there. And this is a nice. We just hit mile four. We are almost at the summit of something. We're making great time. I think we both feel pretty good. The weather's awesome. Views are nice. Here, yeah, what we see. Uh, 
Very cool view. Look at the clouds evolving. Wow. That's very fantastic. Oh, there's a trail that goes right down by it. Awesome. All right, just at mile five. Feeling good. We reached the summit. Now we are sort of doing a loop around the crater at the top. Uh, we've decided to do a little bit more than we originally thought just because we were moving so fast on the way up. So hopefully we have enough time. We have descended, and now we are coming up on uh, Midori Ike, the, which means uh, green pond. And it's like in the center of kind of the volcano, because this is also like an old volcano. So I guess in Fuji, the water hasn't gathered there enough to be a pond, but here it has. So here it is, Midori Ike. Oh wow, and there's snow. That's snow right there, and right now it's like 80 degrees, and there's still snow. That's very impressive. All right, we have found another pond, so that leads us to believe that one might not have been Midori Ike, even though it was green. This one is uh, a little bit more blue, but it's very beautiful. Wow, and it looks pretty deep too. It looks very deep. Wow, what a, what a view, what a super cool view. Actually, you can see, uh, you can see three ponds from here. One of them over there, one of them over there, one of them over here. Mile six, we decided we're actually, we're on the way, our way back now. It's a cool little detour, definitely path less taken is even better um feeling good yeah we are in descending mode now um we came from there here is a quite a large patch of snow um actually that that path is so near it i guess we can probably be able to touch the snow if we go over there but right now we're a little bit lost because we want to get back but that way is probably the right way but we're not totally sure Yeah, 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 I know where we are. I know where we are. All right, what does uh, this mountain snow... Right, I don't think you should walk that far. Why? Because it might be sacred snow. Oh. But I wonder what mountain snow feel like, feels like. You know, it feels just like regular snow. I can tell you what it feels like to be hit by a sacred <laughs> snowball. A sacred snowball. <laughs> 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 sacred snowball fight. <laughs> Blessed. Yeah. Mile seven, still doing good, going down. Uh, we're sort of walking around the uh, Hakusan summit now. 
we're gonna go back to sort of like the base camp thing and then from there we'll start really descending but right now we're kind of just walking around the summit um still feeling good we've been going for four hours got plenty of time yeah it's a pretty cool little spot it's got all these boardwalks we're gonna have another protein bar banana some water and we'll truly start descending mile number eight just about to start the steep descent we've decided we're gonna take a different path than we took on the way up hopefully it's not too bad it's a little bit slippery um, so I won't hold this GoPro for very long uh, but here is what it looks like I think my hand right now is probably touching a cloud yeah mile nine as you can see we're descending Getting close to the tree line, and we're making good time. Mile 10, descending. This is the steepest descent we've done yet. Hopefully, we're going in the right direction. Um, we still have plenty of time, so it feel pretty good. We just finished. Yay, we're done. Here's the end. There's the Here people. are the people that are starting. starting yeah. yeah. All right, let's see when the bus comes. That's the real question. And that was our last, probably a big adventure thing on this trip. <laughs> yeah. And it was fun. Cherry on top. Yeah. It is 5.02, we are back where we started. It means the trip took exactly 12 hours, which is kind of exactly. cool. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go to a family mart, get some food, then go get some dinner.